You can split amounts in a bill across several expense accounts. Go to the vendor, enter bills. The address info will automatically be populated from the information you entered when you set up the account. The date will be today's date, but you can change it. You can enter a reference number, the amount, let's say it's $500, and the memo to help you identify what the bill was for. While QuickBooks will automatically enter the last transaction we had for this vendor, let's say we only spent $300 on plans this time, they charged us a $50 delivery fee, and we also bought a non-inventory part, a fountain. Go to your item tab and enter the fountain we bought. As you can see, we can mix and match. We have $350 in expenses and $150 in items, and the total between all of them is $500.